Okay, well, for this video, um, it's just basically cloning a disc. Um, I've got behind me a uh, Ryzen 3700X system, which I've built for video editing. Just to test it up, I'll just put a normal solid state drive on there, because that's what I had at the time. It's only got a 500 gigabyte in there. And I bought myself this NVMe uh, two terabyte drive. I think it's PCIe 4, can't remember whether that one's 4 spec or 3 spec on the motherboard. But basically I'm going to fit this and I'm going to clone the drive that's on there straight to this. Um, because as you know if you're looking for parts now, NVMe M2 drives are basically the same sort of price. Certainly at the smaller capacities as a normal SSD. Supposedly you're going to get massively uh, more speed, although I will say in my experience for normal day-to-day -day use, a lot of the time you ain't going to notice the difference. But certainly for a video editing machine where you're going to be scrubbing from files that are on the drive, potentially uh, multiple lots of video footage at the same time, you definitely do want an NVMe 2 to get the best out of it. So as I've built that to do video editing and I'm going to bench it as a video editing machine eventually, obviously I've got to fit the MVME too. So this technique though that I'll use as far as the cloning goes will work if you're using a normal hard drive, going to a normal solid state. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's basically just showing you how to use the Disk Genius software. Out of all the free softwares that I've tried, because I've tried a few, Nine times out of ten, they try and get you to sign up to do something or give card details. This one, you download it. It's pretty straightforward. You can go different size drives. Um, they'll do the boot records, everything. But as I say, I'm going to go from 500 gigabytes up to two terabytes. I'll just show you the fitting of this, just in case you hadn't seen one of them before being fitted to the X570 motherboard. Uh, and then I'll get in and I'll show you how to do the cloning. Okay, so here's the uh, NVMe drive up close. Still in a bit of its packaging. Um, there's the bench with the system on it. Just zoom into where the drive is. Right, I'm going to shut this down. And we'll start fitting the drive. Here's my screwdriver. Hopefully I've got that zoomed in enough there. Right, so she shut down just to be on the safe side. I'll just turn off the power supply. That'll be enough. Right, so. Basically, there's two screws on this that hold a cover. Well, it's kind of like a heat sink, which by the way, it's very hot before I've even got a drive in there, so I don't really know what that's all about. But there we go. So, that's just... Uh, I don't know how well we can see here, but basically your slot is over here. Just take this and it should. Right, so it's gone in there. Now it looks like there should be a screw there, but it's missing. And to be honest, we've got the heat sink, so that should push it down, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Right, so that's essentially drive fit. So not exactly, uh, you know, high skill level involved there. But your next thing is sorting out the BIOS because you've got to make sure this thing's enabled. So we'll just fire it up. We'll go into the BIOS. Let's see if I can. Make 
sure that's correctly zoomed. Right, so uh, I ain't done this for a little while. I think you know, boot. NVMe driver support enabled. Yes, it is. I think that's all I need to do is just make sure this one here is enabled. So that's done. So that being the case, we can come out of that and load into Windows. Okay, so you can see we're in Windows. We've got the new drive in. So what you'd be thinking now is you could go to this PC and it'll be there. As you can see, it's not there. So what you have to do is you go up to start, actually go search. Hang on, no you don't. I've got to think how you do this. Uh, I think it's hard. Ah, so type in hard or drive or whatever. Create and format hard dispositions. Partitions rather. Right, you can see it's there. Uh, but it's, it's online, but it's not. So convert to MBR disk. I think that's what we want to do. Right, new simple volume. Let's go in there. Get I don't know. Give it whatever drive letter you want to give it. I don't know what all that is. Sign following letter D. So we do that. Format this volume with the following settings. So yeah, you can do that. Quick format. Right, so now you go into your Windows, this PC, you can see you've got your drive there empty. From there, go into your Disk Genius. Ah, here we are, Run Disk Genius. Right. I haven't used this for a while, so you'll have to bear with me. But basically, so you've got Local Disk Free. You've got your Partitions. Where are we? That's your Kingston. I can't. Ah, OS migration, that's the one you want. Right, please select target disk. You can see new volume there. So select that. Warning all files, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, right, what you've got here, that's now trying to make this new disk. So it's got a 446 gigabyte partition. What you want to do is make. Well, this is what I do. You don't have to do it. You can have it partitioned if you want. But I'm basically going to make it so that's the full size. And when finished, change computer boot sequence. I'm not going to bother putting that on at the minute. It's prevent sleep, system sleep and do an execution. Yep, do that. Start. So it's now giving you all your warnings. Hot migration carries out. So hot migration. So right, basically now what that's doing, that's copying everything on the standard solid state drive to that new NVMe drive, but it's going to have its main partition instead of being 446 gigabytes, it will be uh, to it, well 1.8 terabytes basically. bits now right here we go so system migration completed to boot from target system re please reboot BIOS set this do you want to restart your computer now so we'll select yes and what I'm gonna do to make sure it works is I'll unplug let's just get in the BIOS You have to keep pressing the old delete key because that will skip past it fairly easily otherwise which is really annoying right so we're in the BIOS 
I'm now unplugging the drive that I was using, which is this. So now it's fully on the NVMe drive. So we'll go boot. Uh, NVMe driver. Right, so that's down as boot option two. So I might, hopefully it'll just work if I go quit without saving. Just see what happens, it should work. Might not though, might have to flipping mess about and change something else, but fingers crossed it'll work. There you go, straight in actually, it's a bit faster, isn't it? So, now well, I'll say it's a bit faster, it didn't seem no quicker there. So now when you go my PC, this PC, there you go, you can see you've got a 1.81 terabyte drive. So there you go, that is, I don't know why it's just done that, it does do that. Uh, that is essentially how you clone your drive the easy way. And I haven't done it for ages, so it did take me a few minutes. So yeah, painless, hope it helps you. If it's any good to you, please like, subscribe to the channel. I'll always have little bits like this, as well as how I put together cheap gaming rigs and all sorts of stuff. 